Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we finished up with the post policy in the previous episode. And in this one, what I want to do is, since we're gonna create a post, I need to able to have a multi-select field where we can select the different tags. Okay, so let's use, uh, install the JavaScript library to make this a lot easier for us. So let's get started. All right, so this is our post controller where we have our resource policy right there, and this is our create method. So in admin post.create, this is basically the view that we're gonna have. So, all right, so let's quickly install choices.js. So open up your terminal to install it. We do npm install uh, choices.js. All right, let me just show you where I'm getting this from. All right, Choices.js is a JavaScript library by Joshua Johnson. All right, so this is the library in order to actually create little tags. And it, to install it, we get npm install. So this will be a link that will be in this description for you. All right, so that you can just follow along. And if you want to go and read more about it. Okay, so let's just install it. All right, so it's busy installing. Right, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to run the dev, okay? But before we do that, we need to go to resources, JS, app.js, this one right here. Right in there, we're just gonna import uh, choices, all right? So we import the choices.js. Dot, choices dot the next thing we want to do is we want to window dot choices. I want to create an arrow function and I'm just going to call this one element and all right so there's a couple of things that we need to do in here all right and we're going to do a return new choices pass in the element All right, the first one is max item count. Now this is the, how many tags do you want the users basically to have? In my case, let's just set it to three, the maximum amount of uh, tags. The second one is remove item button. So to allow the users, if they want to delete basically a tag and replace it with something else. All right, so that's basically our whole setup. And I will obviously leave a link in the description. So if you want to have more options that you want to do with your tags. All right, so let's quickly npm run dev. Okay, that's all done. All right, so the next thing we need is we need the CSS. Okay, so let's go to our public folder. And inside CSS, you're gonna create a new file. And we're going to call this one choices.css, like that. Right. Now, the thing is, I'm just going to copy and paste the CSS, but let me show you how to get them. So, in the documentation, under installation, you will see you will have the yarn or the CDN. Just click on the CDN, right, this part right here. Then you'll go to public, assets. Then you'll see styles, scripts, and the other one. Let me just make it a bit bigger. All right, so you'll see the styles right here. So click on that. You'll see the minified version. I will not recommend to take this one because the styling for the CSS for choices, it will totally depend on your look and feel of your website. All right, so let's quickly go to this one. So just choose the choices.css. This one right here and i'm just going to copy everything okay just copy all of that inside here we paste it right there all right so this is the whole part so you can customize the look and feel of the tag so in this case as you can see they've got kind of a turquoise color and you can change it to whatever you want okay so you can style them however you want so let me just close this off Right now, the thing is, now we have that CSS, but we haven't included in our layout. So we're going to go to views, layouts, and you can see I got an admin layout, this one right here. But the thing is, I don't want the styling to be available on all the views. I only want it to be available in whatever view that needs it. 
So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an add stack. And the stack, I'm just going to call this one styles. Okay. So let me open my post controller. This one right here. And let me go to this view right there. So for now, I'm just going to leave that one open. Let's go to your create view. Now at the top right here, what we want to do is we want to add an add push. Now the push will basically push whatever is between these two tags to this styles right here. Okay, so let me just now the thing that I want to add in here is basically a link with CSS. All right, and this one will be basically the choices CSS, but not like that. And this need to go to Right, so we've got our choices.css and we need, just need to change the push to styles. So we'll basically add this link in our admin layout right there. Okay, so that's our styling. Right, so now we included that. The next part is obviously for the tags. Let me just add it right here. So the tags. Okay, so let's just add it right here. So this is a div. And this is going to be an input field. So let me just copy this input field right here. And let's add a select field. Okay, the first one will be the name will be tags. Just make sure you put it as an array. Second one will be tags. All right, so there's a couple of things we need to do in here. We're going to do a multi, multiple, actually, multiple like this. And this needs to be an X data. We're going to set that to open a, basically an empty curly braces. And X, the other one will be X init. That's going to equal to function. And that's going to call on the choices. Choices. And just pass in the element like that right and then obviously we're going to have options like this and we're going to do a for each loop but we're going to get to that point in the next episode but i just wanted us to bring in the with alpine js the x in it the choices right there in the data just set it to an empty curly braces like that all right so now our choices library is installed and what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to update this view for our creator. I wanted to do all of this actually in one episode, but there's too much to do for just one. So it will be a very long video. So I'm just going to break it up in two, but just install the choices to get to the tags. And from there, we're going to do the rest in the view. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like the video, please give it a like. Feedback, suggestions or comments for me in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.